Hey, Grace Nation, big up on yourself. Well, what are you guys doing most, first of all? We're back again with the uh, Alien and Richie Steven situation, which Alien allegedly saying Richie Steven rape her. And last night there was an interview with her fiance or her boyfriend. And you just want to say with my two cents, you know? I respect him for that, yes. So I say I'm all it out with her. And he really, he really is a man for all it out like that. You know, enough money that done with them woman long time. And them could even me respect him, like, oh, he just all it out from him time I would earn him still. And it's just so hateful as we as woman. Last night, I did I watch live and a couple times I comment and, you know what I say? I'm could I'm could really dear watching the live and really see how much hateful comment we as women are coming back all of not on a gossip yeah the, we tell we tell we, we prove it that not really don't go as how it come out to be but when you cannot bash her like that like and i be a grown-ass woman and grown-ass man i bash her i say she not do it and she a wicked and Come on, only a female. You know, matter if she take 20 years to come out, come tell the truth. She never too late for say it. And whenever she feel comfortable to express herself, or whenever she get brave enough, it's whenever all of that. Come on. She all right to come out 10 years later. If she want to come out 10 years later, come say and just rip her. She never too late for warm up her mouth. It's so sad. Like, come on. You guys, we have to do better than that. As You know what I say? We, the nation, and we have to do better as that as human being overall. It's not even about culture or nothing like this. As human being, we have to do better as human being. You guys watch the video and tell me where, you know, tell me your op opinion, comment, and tell me what you like, what you don't like. Watch the video. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for um, the invite, for accepting the invitation. No problem. The truth needs to be spoken. The truth needs to be said. And I do support Elaine, no matter what it is. Okay. Unfortunately, I saw some of the comments and, and some of them saying that Elaine is only telling it out to keep me. No, I'll stay with her regardless, irregardless of whether she wants to say the truth or not. But if she wants to fight it, I will fight it and I'll be right in front with her. I'm sorry, I'm a bit emotional about this, but how does you feel when someone says she's staying, she's doing it because she wants you to stay with her? How that makes you feel? That's angry. It's clear that some people don't understand how a relationship truly works and whether that person truly loves that person or not. That's what it is. That's that's why it shows to me. But it's fine. To each his own opinion. So be it. But what I want is the truth to be out. I want justice for what happened to my fiance, my partner, or my wife, the person that I trust with the rest of my life with and I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want justice for her. What? Yeah. When the when you saw uh, Mr. Stevens um, try to kiss her or kissed her, what, what can you speak to me on that? I was held back by two of the technical crew and one of the waiters at the VIP area. The curtain was slightly ajar. The dance floor could see exactly what he did. As I went back, because I'm a technical guy. I was there to help to make sure that Richie actually had a stage to make him look grand for everybody. So when I, yeah. I'm sorry. So how did that, explain to me how, how we got to that point where we just tried to kiss her. Explain what had happened before. He was Were doing a show. It was Were, a good show. Was he I made sure this. I'm sorry. sorry? Was, was he having a conversation with Elaine? Um, no. Was, so out he was taking moment, videos for him to make sure that he has a show reel that shows to his, shows to his, his Jamaican people and his Jamaican cloud 
that he did a show in one of the biggest clubs in Singapore. I assisted to be to, to become his private security in the VIP so that nobody will bother Mr. Stevenson. I made sure of that. And yet, at the end of the night, when we are all packing it up with the VIP curtain just slightly ajar onto her, putting her lips on her, she's trying to struggle out, and I tried to run over. By the time I got to the VIP, people was pulling me back because she says, if you hit somebody international here in Selavi, guess what? I'm a minority in Singapore. I'm Indonesian. I'm Malay. I'm a minority. Guess who gets into trouble? Me. Right? Not Mr. Stevenson. I'm the one who gets into trouble. Help me back. Two days later, I went back to get my stage that I loaned for Mr. Richie Stevenson. And I asked individually every one of them, did you see that? They confirmed it. They feel bad about it. See, that's when I really, I, I lost my first, that's the first time I lost trust for Richie. And this is where the predator side of things happen. I believe it's a predator side of things. Started, you know, communicating back to normal. He apologized for what he did. He said he was drunk. That's why he did it. I call BS to that. I, I really do. He apologized. We had a few conversations. Me, Elaine, and him had a few conversations. He's, he worked hard to gain back my, my, my trust, the trust of the family. He apologized profusely over and over again. And me, you know, I'm, I'm a very simple man, okay? If the women that I trust and I care for, my family, trust this man again and they feel like he has apologized enough and he's sorry about it i will trust him i'm not a smart man i'm physically strong but that's about it i'm a simple man i work my ass off to do whatever i need to do to make sure that everybody's shows run well whenever they are here in singapore i even got a message from his former tour manager no less at that point in time when he first was there. So imagine this, Mr. Vegas. I just I just want to paint something, okay? You're back in Malaysia and in Singapore. Okay. Right now I'm in Singapore. But as you as you're at home, every day, the person that you love, that you're with, your partner contacts you every day and suddenly she disappears for two days straight, right? And then I finally, finally got through. And that's when I found out what happened. After thorough digging, digging and digging and digging, that's when I found out About what had happened. happened. Yes. She didn't want you to know? She says, what she told me, she felt ashamed. And I don't blame her. Right. She felt that shame and she felt like she betrayed me. She felt like she cheated on me. After 14 years. Okay. And I honestly don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. Did she blame herself? Yes, she did. Every night, 
Okay, here's another thing. Let me paint this for you. When she came back, she finally came back, our first night back in JBI, in our own house, in our own bed. And after once again, bawling, crying in the shower, I had to pick her up, clean her up, brought her to bed. She finally got to sleep. I wanted to hug her to sleep, but she didn't want it. She just wanted my arm underneath her head. Fair enough. I let it be. I give her some space. I, under I fully understand. And then she started mumbling this. She started sleep talking. <laughs> okay. I'm dirty. And nobody wants me. Can you imagine the kind of psychological, psychological torture that you had to go through that by the time you go to sleep, that's what you're mumbling to yourself? For a good six months that I was there until I had to go, until I was contracted back to Singapore, till I am now, she was mumbling then in her sleep. Any guy out there in the comments, even to you, Mr. Vegas, imagine that. The person that you love, that you really feel that like you couldn't protect, is mumbling that in her sleep. How would you feel? How would you feel? Your daughter, your mom, your own wife, anybody. Uh, sorry, can I smoke on this? Is that okay, Mr. Vegas? You're doing good, man. Speak, man. May, may I smoke? You can do what you want to do, brother. All right, thank you. But imagine that, okay? Just imagine that. Six months. She said that over and over again. I had a held, he'll hold it in myself. Hold it within myself. Not to get angry because the person that she needs now is somebody to support her, to be able to carry her and help her whenever is needed. Imagine that pain, huh? Seriously, imagine that pain. When you try to kiss her, did she um go to um was that before she went to Jamaica? Way before. That was the first time, the first time ever he came here. We so went in a big big Yeah, it was the first time. So she went to Jamaica. I was the second time was in Jamaica. That's when after that was after Selavi, yes. Because did again, she tell, did she tell you what happened in Jamaica that he tried to kiss her again in Jamaica? Unfortunately, no. Because I know why, and and I know why she didn't tell me because she felt ashamed. She didn't want me to get angry. Trust me, if I bring you right now to my room, the amount of holes that I have in that room, just because when I was angry, they say a good man has a lot of rules in his life to make sure that he doesn't do anything. I keep it within that room. She doesn't want me to react like that. She doesn't want me, because I was not there. I was running our school, the businesses here in Singapore. Okay. Why did you allow her to go to Australia with him? Why? Because he earned my trust and I didn't even know what happened in Jamaica, unfortunately. Mm. All right. Were you were you against her going with him after you saw what happened with the kids? In Australia when it was time in Singapore? Yeah. Initially I was. Of course I was. All right, of course I was. Why wouldn't I be? But that's when he's, he had conversations with me and Major. He was apologizing to me, Major, Elaine, all together. His tour manager, his former tour manager, 
was apologizing to us, short to near getting on their knees and apologizing. So you believe he was sincere? Of course. He said, I'm a simple man. I'm not a smart man. I'm just simple. I'm a simple man. And unfortunately, at that point in time, I'm a naive man as well. I shouldn't have let that happen. I should have done something to, to reach you the first time around. I saw that. Let's put it that way. Are you getting some counseling yourself? I am. I've been, I'm a life, I've been on counseling. I'm a former survivor myself. Let's be honest here, okay? That's why I know how Elaine feels. I truly know. That's the only part that I actually got strength from because I am a former survivor myself. Because I knew what she needed. I'm on regular counseling. Yes, I am. I'm on medication too, but that's it. But that's normal for me. That's my life. That's my past. You think that gives you strength to stay by your side? That gives me strength not to want to do worse things to Mr. Stevenson. I'll put that as that. I'll leave it as that. Well, what do you want to say to him, to Mr. Stevens, if he's watching? Honestly? If he's watching this, and I'm staring right at the camera, just in case, so that everybody can see my eyes, and he can see my eyes. I pity you. I don't hate you, but I pity you. Why I pity you? I pity your family. I pity the island that you live in. Because they are hiding somebody who's a predator. that is willing to do the most heinous act, even death cannot cleanse away from your soul. Mr. Richard Stevenson, if you can hear this, I pity that you are around. I pity the island that you are on. Because they have to live around you. And the sheer fact that you could do this again. That's what I want to say to you. Any final words, Elaine? I just wanted to address, you know, that I understand Zag is angry, you know, but we don't hold or blame the Jamaican people for what has happened. The more that important thing that we are addressing is the fact that he is free. He has done this to me. I don't want to see him do it to anyone else. No one else gets hurt. No one else gets through this. I almost wasn't alive. I couldn't. I almost killed myself going through this. No one else must go through this. The truth needs to be known. truth needs to be known the person that he really is needs to be known because I cannot bear the thought of it happening to someone else 
This is a lifetime scar. And I'm sure all the survivors would agree, this is a lifetime scar. With that said, I want to bring on um, Marlene. She's also a survivor and she is a professional in this field that I am. Um, I would like for her to, you know, give me a, um, her take on, on, on what's going on here because I think this needs some professionals. I'm just opening up the platform to you guys so you guys can let the world know what your what your um, your truth is. Um, so I'm going to bring on um, Marlene. So you can stay on. I think she maybe have a few words for you guys. All right. Hi, Marlene. How are you? Hi, Mr. Vegas. Thank you for having me on the show. This I, was I, so. I apologize. I apologize for having you so waiting so long. I should have given you a later time, but I did not know it was gonna 